South African National Rally Championship traditionally opens with a Tour Natal and this year is no different. We're on the south coast of the Kozuna Natal for the 53rd running of the event, which boasts a rich history of winners like Ewald von Bergen, Jan Hetemar, Saro von Amara and Serge Damter. Welcome to the Total Turn Natal, which kicks off the South African Rally Championships for 2011. We're here at Arbor Classic in a Mums and Toti KZN for day one, where the teams are going to be battling it out over the next two days. The battle lines are drawn with new cars, new faces, new combinations, all to spice up the show. Congratulations, reigning champions. But where is the competition coming from this year? Within your camp or without? Well, it has been coming from our camp for the last six years. And uh, Volkswagen's really been dominating the sport in that sense. But things are about to change this year. In what way, Guy, do you think they're going to change? Look, there are so many competitors. It's going to be very, very tough all year. So consistency will pay huge rewards. Um, and we've just got to keep finishing in the top three. Bridesmaid, two years in a row. Can you do the championship this year? Yeah, we've been uh, close the last couple of years. And uh, this year we got some upgrades on the car. And we did a bit of testing yesterday. And it feels pretty good. So I think we'll be in the running this year again. You ended the year on a high. Plan on starting it on a high as well. Well, yeah, we, we had a terrible season last year, except uh, it all came together in the last rally. And um, now we just try and carry on from there. And, uh, you know, it's one of the toughest championships in the world. And we've got 18, 80,000 cars, so, you know, and a lot of good drivers. So to just be in the top four or five, uh, you're doing well. Well, so, Neil, after eight years in the Dakar, you finally made it back to some South African rallying. Yeah, no, I think, you know, it's going to be, uh, I haven't been here for a long time. It's going to be very exciting. Um, you know, to get the opportunity to go with uh, VW in the Ray Championship year, I mean, the top team here is, is, is really great, and uh, uh, it's going to be a challenge for me. Um, you know, I haven't done a lot of miles in the car, so you know, I have to, I have to take this event as, a, as, a, as a, basically as a test session. You know, get used to the the notes and stuff, uh, which is also completely new. Um, and the other thing is also that these roads are very slippery. You know, it's uh, it's going to be tricky out there, but uh, I'll try and follow the lines of the other guys and uh, you know see where we end up. So, first off the ceremonial starting ramp, the reigning champions in the BP Ultimate Volkswagen Polo, Enzo Kuhn and Guy Hodgson. With me on this rally, Steve Bishop. Steve, we are excited. Well, of course we are, and, uh, you know, once again, it's got to, it, you know, this rally is uh, steeped in heritage, and uh, I think we're in for a, quite a cracker, to be honest with you. Team Castro, Toyota, Oris, are Johnny Gennel, Andrew Sturrock next up, and then former champions, Jan Habich and uh, Robert Paisley in the BP Ultimate Volkswagen Polo. Certainly the man to watch, and uh, particularly in, in uh, Volkswagen's case, is Konrad Rotenbach and Nikolai Klinger as well. He certainly knows how to pedal this uh, Fiesta. Stage one in the Omzinto area, over 8.84 kilometers, named Drum Darach, a very challenging stage with lots of hairpins, and certainly it's going to be a challenge for these drivers with the high sugarcane fields um, on both sides of the stage. First off, of course, on the road, Keen and Hodgson, and they immediately get the pedal down to the metal. Certainly the reigning champions will want a good start. They need to get away very, very good. And, of course, they're looking for consistency. Indeed they do. So Keen and Hodgson lay down the marker. Uh, it felt very slow. It felt very slow in the beginning. Um, and it's, it's very loose. So it's quite hard work. I don't know. We'll see how, see how we did. We'll see if they can be caught. This is Johnny Gemmel in the works uh, Castrol Toyota Auris, along with uh, Drew Starrock from Scotland. And I really wonder how they're going to kick off this season. Well, I can tell you that uh, Johnny Gemmel is not going to want to play uh, bridesmaid again, having uh, come second on two occasions to the Volkswagen. So he's going to be trying really hard. OK, and there's the comparison. Seven seconds off the pace. No, it's OK, eh? No, it's OK. Well, they haven't had a lot of time to shake down that car, so I'm sure they're still getting to know it. Next up, of course, former champions Jan Habich and Robert Paisley in the BP Volkswagen Polo. Well, I wonder what's in store for them really ahead of it, because I can tell you that the clerk of the course, Richard Fawn, promises a very testing circuit. Well, they certainly want to beat their teammates who have set the benchmark time so far, so let's see how they go through stage one. And remember, it's only 8.84 kilometers. Okay, there we go, about five seconds off the pace. That's a bit of a surprise. This is the man, as you said, Steve, that everybody is looking at. He certainly put the marker down at the end of last season, Conrad Rosenbach, with his French navigator, Nicolas Klinger. 
in their G Fuel Ford Fiesta. This is a car that is absolutely blindingly fast. Well, it will certainly have to be on this kind of circuit. I mean, remember the competition. And there we go. Fastest time so far by 1.1 seconds. He has certainly laid down his intentions. Next up, in car number five, it's Arjen Fekken and uh, Pierre Aris, uh, former champions as well in the BP Ultimate Ford Wagon Polo. He loves the kind of surface that they're racing on at this point. Uh, he's really putting this car through its paces, and right now we can see his point one of a second quicker. No, it was good, eh? Um, very tricky as uh, sugarcane hangs over the road, so it's it's... It looks extremely fast, but it was quite fun, eh? All the way from the Western Cape, son of multiple former winners, Serge Danzo, JP, along with uh, Carolyn Swan in the team total, Toyota Rennet. And uh, they are certainly also going as hard as they can. This is a, an exciting combination. What's expected from them this season? Well, certainly the drivers just say to watch out for these tight, twisty bits. In fact, sometimes they actually turn 180 degrees back on themselves, so they've got to be careful. There we go, 6.6 .6 seconds off second space. Well, this is really interesting. It's brand new manufacturers coming into this rally. It's the Pertec Peugeot 207 Heinrich Latakan and Johan van der Merwe. Well, I'm sure they'll be taking it pretty easy at the start of this rally. They only completed the car a couple of days ago and uh, certainly did not have another time to do a proper shakedown. And you can also see clearly he's not pushing it very hard. He certainly doesn't want to lose uh, development time in this car, but a pretty sight it is. There we go. Six fastest so far and the slowest of those that have finished. A lot of eyes on this team, the team Sassel uh, Ford Fiesta with Mark Renier, former Toyota works driver, along with Robin Houghton, also a former uh, works co-driver, and he has got the hammer down. This car is clearly fast out of the box, a brand new car built by M Sport in uh, the UK, the same outfit that builds the WRC cars as well, so uh, Mark Renier is certainly enjoying himself. This is an excellent time. 623.7, 5.4 quicker than anybody else. A team that certainly would want to uh, erase all the memories, bad memories from last season when they had a car completely burnt out on this event. Charles Wilkin and Greg Godridge in the uh, Basil Reed and Bizhub Ford Fiesta. And they are also hammering. Not a bad time at all. Well, they're certainly wanting to uh, compete for the top four honors here. And ending up sixth there, second Sassel Ford Fiesta. This is young John Williams from the Western Cape, along with uh, Kubis Frey this season. It's an absence of two and a half years since he's last been in a rally car in South Africa. He's done some overseas rallying. And always great to go on board with his uh, crews and to get a feel for what it's really like. Yeah, I love getting on board here. But uh, check out this. It's very difficult. They can't see the apexes at all when they're making these turns. Almost like tunnel vision yeah. if you uh, drive through uh, these sugarcane fields. So they slot in uh, just behind Heinrich Latifan in the Peugeot 207. Right, looking at the brand new Ultimate BP uh, Volkswagen. Look at this. It's the new team members, Janiel de Villiers and Ralph Pitchard. Uh, de Villiers, a former South African off-road champion and winner of the 2009 Dakar Rally. And did you notice he had some Red Bull sponsorship on that car? Well, he's an official uh, Red Bull driver, isn't he? And just easing into rallying. Now the new Africa Development car, the uh, Volkswagen Polo of the Alpha and they've left Kovic. And uh, they are also looking at uh, a solid performance on this event. Not, I think, amongst one of the fancy teams for an overall win, but still a solid, good start to their rally. Right, more excitement right now as we go on board with the Team Total Run-X of Mohamed Musa and Grant Myerton. And uh, look at that. Very difficult to drive on this circuit, as we mentioned earlier. Musa, a man with a lot of potential, but he tends to crash a lot. Had a huge accident uh, on this specific event last year as well. So let's hope that they can keep all four wheels on the road and uh, have a safe and problem-free run. Well, one day we were actually asking which are the most memorable. <laughs> we will, I'm sure. Good time, though. How's it going out there? No, it's, uh, it's fun. We're enjoying it. We're having a, a good outing today.